rather than intimidating the marchers, that violence seemed to give them a powerful ally. That night, I was with Martin Luther King Jr. in Selma when we heard Lyndon Johnson. We watched him make one of the greatest speeches any American president ever made on the whole question of civil rights. Their cause must be our cause too. It's all of us who must overcome the crippling legacy of bigotry and injustice. And we shall overcome. Just think of a president with a southern accent from Texas saying to the Congress of the United States, we shall overcome. Finally, popular protest and public power had come together. And Dr. King literally started crying. Tears came down his face. I knew then that we would make it from Selma to Montgomery. On March 21st, 1965, 3,200 people set out from Selma. Four days later, as the march approached Montgomery, there were 25,000 people marching. It was an amazing moment. It was, it was scary. It was scary. There were helicopters everywhere, like uh, some sort of angry bugs. And there were only Confederate flags flying. We were the only ones with American flags. Yeah, and Martin Luther King gave a great speech. All the world today knows that we are here and we are standing before the forces of power in the state of Alabama saying we ain't going to let nobody turn us around. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. There's very few times in your life that you know that you're at some place that you're at a moment where this is one of those things that as long as there's time is going to be this moment. That was it. United States of America. On August the 6th, Lyndon Johnson signed the Voting Rights Act, finally guaranteeing black Americans the right to vote. But just as it reached a high point, the civil rights movement seemed to split into warring factions. A revolution.